Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Alexandra, I'm a mother of nine and I thought I would film this week's grocery haul because I haven't done that for a long time and I've got loads this week so I thought why not share it with you um, so you can see what I'm up to <laughs> in terms of meals and all the rest of it. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you that I've got are these packs of tortillas. My children have been loving having wraps lately, just with like cheese and salad in, or they'll have a cheese quesadilla or something like that. So, yeah, they've been going through loads of wraps, but I'm hoping these are going to be the last ones I actually buy. I want to make them because, yeah, even though they don't have any soil it, soil, soya in, they still have a lot of dodgy ingredients, if you ask me like palm oil, I don't think that's particularly good for you. Iron, I don't really want that added into my food. Um, you know, lots of things that I just think are not good. So like I say, I'm really hoping that they will be the last ones that I buy. I want to make a big batch of them today or tomorrow, sourdough wraps, and I want to put them in the freezer um, so that we can use them when we want and we don't have to buy them again because I don't know why they have to have all those ingredients in, but yeah, it's um, a bit unnecessary, I think. So I'll have a go at making them, and um, I might film that if you want to see how I do that. Something else that I've got that I'm not, you know, happy with the ingredients of is the noodles here. Um, I get these because the teenagers are always hungry and they snack a lot and they love the noodles, but I really need to find some sort of more healthy alternative to that but they're not too bad but yeah not the best I have got um, some organic spaghetti here it was on offer I think it was half price I'll probably do a spaghetti bolognese with that um, here we've got some portobellini mushrooms um, I think these ones were on offer as well these are organic ones and I'm going to use some as a pizza topping because I'm going to make sourdough pizzas for uh, our movie night this week. So some people will have some mushrooms on, not me because I don't like them really. Uh, another pack will be used in a pork casserole that I'm going to make. Um, I've got some mung beans. If you saw my last vlog you would have seen that one of the things I really want to incorporate into our diet is um, sprouts. So I'm going to sprout these beans and eat, yeah, eat the sprouts with different salads and things. I've got two packs of the San Pellegrino Limonata, uh, which we will have for movie night. We've got some anchovies there, that is for pizza that we're making. I've got a white cabbage so that I can make some more sauerkraut. Um, I've got some organic tricolor pasta, which we'll probably use for like, I don't know, a mac and cheese thing or something. I have some sugar. This is to feed my water kefir. Um, I've also got some organic um, cane sugar here, which will be for, you know, our cooking, but this is just for feeding the water kefir. Then I've got eight of the large uh, organic milks. I bought myself a, um, what's this, a vanilla kefir, um, because I had a coupon for that. I wouldn't normally buy that, but yeah. I got that. I did have milk kefir grains, but they went bad. I left them for way too long, but I need to get some more and make that again. Um, two packs of organic coffee. I bought this oil spray. This was quite expensive, but it is. it was the only one I could find that was just like pure olive oil and didn't have a mixture of other weird stuff in it. So I got that one. Um, I got some pepperoni to go on the pizzas um, and I got these organic stock pots. I haven't tried these before. Um, I do make my own chicken stock but it's always good to have some as backup. Some organic leeks. Now I'm going to be using these in the creamy pork casserole that I'm going to be making this week. So I'd have the leeks, some mushrooms, and this is the pork over here. Got three packs of the diced pork. We have a large, let go please William. 
I have a large cheddar there and we've got some apricot compote which I like to use in the children's porridge in the mornings. We have got a can of cider and that is to go into the um, pork casserole that I'm making. We've got some carrots and we've got the three packs of mince to go into the, this is beef mince, to go into the spaghetti bolognese. Olives for the pizza, mozzarella again for the pizza. Two packs of these organic gala apples. I really am liking these ones at the moment. Um, two bags of organic strong white bread flour. And then we've got some celery down there, some loo roll, some peppers that will go in the bolognese and whatever else you know that I'm going to use, maybe some pizza toppings. Okay. Some bacon, I think we've got three packs of that. We've got this beef joint. Now, can you believe this? This says that it's a large beef joint and it costs £17.68, but it's actually tiny, in my opinion. Really tiny. So it weighs just over a kilo. I thought that was ridiculous. I mean, we're. <laughs> A big family, so we're not going to get much each, but uh, I thought I'd do a beef roast on Sunday with some Yorkshire puddings and all that, so we will have a little bit of beef with our dinner. Two bags of organic potatoes, so we can have some nice roast potatoes with our roast dinner. Some more of the noodles there. And then we've got three um, bags of these juicing apples these are organic no, normally four pounds a bag and i think that's a really good deal anyway because you get a lot in there and like i said they're organic and they usually cost a fortune they say they're juicing apples but my children always eat them anyway normally they were if you bought three of them then they would be 20 percent off so i've got three bags of those and i want to make some apple sauce with that um, in one of my first attempts at doing canning so I'm going to make some apple sauce and that will be used to sweeten. Are you okay? William's not feeling very well, so he's a bit moody. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to use that to sweeten some baking that I do or to sweeten porridge. Then I have got a organic Greek style yogurt with honey in it, and I've got four avocados. Um, not sure, I'm probably, I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. Got two organic steaks. They were in a flash sale, so I can't remember how much I got them for, but it was a good deal, and I thought my husband and I can have a treat one night. Then I got two packs of the, what's it called? Jolly Hog Outdoor Bread Black Treacle Bacon. That's really nice. Pack of lemons. And 30 organic eggs, some double cream that will be used in the pork casserole, probably whip some to go on hot chocolates as well. Um, and we've got some bananas that are a bit bruised. Um, we've got six onions under there somewhere. And we've got three bags of these oranges. Again, these were a really good deal. Buy three, get 20% off. They're organic and I'm going to make a load of um, marmalade for the first time ever and can those. So that's a nice little project for me to do. And I will um, record my canning adventures so you can follow along with me and see all the mistakes I make as a newbie. <laughs> Hopefully not too many. Um, but yeah, that's everything. When I'm putting things away, I think I always see something that I forgot to show you and um, one of the things I think I forgot was this salt and pepper belly joint we've got two of those and they are delicious and they've lowered the price again because they went up to a silly high price before but the price is a bit more back to normal now and I've bought myself a massive box of um, jars in preparation for my canning so I've got these labels that came with the jars these weird lids and 
lots and lots of jars. I should have been collecting them, but uh, I have just been throwing them away because I hadn't got much space. But then I had to buy them anyway, so that was silly. Oh well, I've got them now. So this week I got a little bit more than usual. Um, I got the extra oranges and the extra apples, and that came to £250, which is at the high end of my budget. I haven't reached my limit, but we're close. So I've been trying to keep it uh, lower than that lately, but um, I really wanted to start canning and I just thought if I don't do it now, I'm never ever going to. So I just had to make those extra purchases. But yeah, so. Yeah. So there we go. So thank you very much for watching. And if you would like to follow along with my canning adventures or um, making the tortillas and stuff like that then please make sure you're subscribed and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.